We begin tonight with major developments in the 38 Studios controversy. As we first reported on Eyewitness News at noon, a judge has ordered all court documents made public in the 38 Studios lawsuit. That means we'll soon get to read the depositions of then-Governor Don Kachiri and disgraced former Speaker Gordon Fox, among others, which will shed new light on how the disastrous business deal came together. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner has been on top of the story all day long. He joins us now with details that are new since noon. Good evening. Well, the governor and speaker of the House both lauding this development tonight. The hope is quite simple among the public, among reporters, that these documents will finally provide answers as to individuals' roles and how the deal went bad. 67 witness depositions taken in the ongoing 38 Studio civil case, 100 days of sworn testimony, all that and more making up an enormous catalog of court documents a judge has now ordered unsealed. I've seen boxes and boxes, and I heard the state's attorney uh, this morning refer to the volume as thousands, if not tens of thousands, of pages of documents. The decision by Judge Michael Silverstein announced during a Friday Superior Court hearing. Counsel for the state trying to recoup as much of the tens of millions in 38 Studios taxpayer dollars as possible says this is an important step. It's just consistent with uh, what we wanted from day one. It's all coming out, but it's going to take a long time to digest it all and to fit the pieces together. The judge says he'd like the release done within 10 business days, begging the question, is that time frame too ambitious? I think we'll know better on Monday. Now, Monday is the time when court staff want to come together, talk about how to proceed and logistics. By the way, filings, both electronic, as we do nowadays, and in good old-fashioned paper form. So it will be a lot to get through once we finally receive said documents. Coming up at 6, new, we're talking to a watchdog, a gentleman with a local watchdog group. He is weighing in. Live in Providence tonight with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News. Significant developments in the rise and fall of Kurt Schilling's failed video game company, 38 Studios. It was a deal that taxpayers are still paying for, but soon, never before seen court documents will be unsealed, shedding new light on how the failed $75 million deal came together. A judge revealed those documents could be released to the public within 10 days. And it comes following a request by the state months ago and the public demand for more information on the failed deal. Eyewitness News has live in-depth coverage at 6 tonight. Target 12 investigator Tim White tells us how the decision is a win for taxpayers. But first, Jared Pliner has more details on who was applauding the decision. Mike Kelly, good evening. Well, the word could is very appropriate because 10 days might be on the optimistic side. We shall see. But this will be an unprecedented opportunity to see the sworn statements of 67 people taken over 100 days. Ken Block, former gubernatorial candidate, now heading up government watchdog, watchdog Rhode Island, one of many applauding a judge's Friday order to release thousands upon thousands of pages of 38 Studios documents. Hopefully every person of interest who might have had a role in 38 Studios has a deposition in there. I'm sure that the media will have a uh, long, hard slog going through all of that paperwork to really try and pull the story out of what went on. Block's group, one of several to call for, among other things, an independent investigation and a granting of subpoena power to the House Oversight Committee as to the timing of this document dump. Why didn't our government do anything while the court case was going on? The government could have held a parallel investigation. The governor's office had access to a lot of this documentation. They could have published it all the way through. Block admits, however, this catalog of filings is a good starting point. If it doesn't tell the whole story, then our government still has work to do. The government still has to come out and fill in the blanks for us. And what brought the parties to court today? Arguments, a hearing concerning a proposed settlement with some of the 38 Studios defendants. A judge has yet to sign off on that proposed settlement. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom tonight, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.